we are competitive dungeon masters in this flip and write game, Doodle Dungeon, coming up. Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Meeple University. Welcome or welcome back to our review, Should You Play? This time we are talking about Doodle Dungeon. It's so cute, like the name of it. Anyway, we are going to do overview of the game and then what we think of it. Yeah, so this is a card drafting, roll and write, pen and paper type of game. And it does, um, it's got a few different elements. It's got really three different stages to it. And it, it proves quite interesting in that way. So in the first part of the game, we're each building up a dungeon and we're trying to put treasures in it and monsters. And those monsters are trying to defend the dungeon from a hero that's going to come at the end of the game. And so each round, there's 14 rounds, uh, there will be cards equal to the number of players plus one that are up for taking and you'll draft one of those cards, ignore the top half, and fill in the features shown in the bottom half in your dungeon. And there's restrictions on how you do all those things, and I won't go into what they all are. Uh, there is a stencil that comes with the game, which is Four. really great for drawing things. Four stencils, yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, here I would build a wall, and so I can, uh, like this. I can draw a wall box. pattern here. Yeah. And this particular one has three walls in a row, so I would have to uh, do that. Or you can just draw it. Whatever or you, you want. can just draw it. Yeah. Um, you've got your options there. Um, is that how you do it? That's how <laughs> I do it, and that's why the stencil is better. Oh, yeah. I can do it like just do three and then two, one, two. Oh, yeah, that's. <laughs> Makes more sense. I wasn't, I wasn't counting on doing it. That's and right. they got little stencils for the monsters as well, which is great. So this is an orc. Mm -hmm. Just give him eyes and a, and a <laughs> tooth or something like that. <laughs> he looks so much, so much friendlier than the actual orc. And yeah. it's also cute. So you've got those. Um, you've got traps that you can put in. And you've got these X's. And these are your typical roll and write styles of X's. It'll let you mark off a number of boxes up here at the top. Maybe you want to make your orcs stronger in battle, make your traps more dangerous, make your treasure worth more points, things like that. And so you'll go round and round, and you'll be building up a deck of cards. And by the end, I'll just pick a little bit off here. You'll have filled up your dungeon and you'll have a deck of cards. Once everyone has filled in their dungeons, it's time to draw the paths. And so you give your map to another player who draws a path from the, of your hero from the top through around the dungeon. And obviously this is empty and there'll be more stuff there. It's not your opponent's hero, it's a hero. It's a hero, yes. Yeah. You'll, um, <laughs> but your opponent will draw it and you'll move around trying to exit. And what the opponent will be trying to do is have the hero defeat all of your monsters, because any monsters who survive are worth points to you, um, and also have the hero try to survive. Then in the resolution phase, everyone will get one of these little hero minis, and then turn by turn, you'll have some cards in your hand based on your hand limit. You'll move the hero up to the next feature, whether it's a trap or a monster. And if it's a trap, you'll just suffer damage, which is tracked along here. If it's a monster, you'll fight that monster. And the dungeon master rolls two dice. Well, I, wow. roll, I rolled a 20. <laughs> Perfect. So 20, and it has to be 20 or higher, including any of your strength bonuses and any cards that you want to play to help your monster defeat the hero. If you get 20 or more, then the hero gets defeated, loses some health. Uh, if it's fewer than 20, then the monster is defeated. If the monster was hiding a treasure, which is a hidden coordinates thing, uh, then the monster gets defeated. Mm -hmm. And you move on to the next one. And that's really how it goes. You'll You'll be able to draw back up to your hand. There are cards that you can play 
on someone else's dungeon to help their hero. So if someone's getting ahead, you can play healing potions on someone else's hero to sort of bring it back. And once everyone's heroes are either defeated or out of the dungeon, you total up your final points for how the hero did, what monsters are left, and any treasures that are left. And hidden treasure. So you yes. don't actually draw the treasures, but you would probably draw a monster on top of that treasure to yeah. try to keep it so you get more points. Yep. And the highest score wins. So what do you think, Tarrant? I think... So there's a few things I, I quite like about this. I really enjoyed making a dungeon and trying Just to think... Fun. And it actually it really felt like a well-tuned roll and write. With these things up here that, you know, you weren't going to be able to fill them all in. So no. you were choosing whether to go heavily on traps and then get a whole lot of trap cards later. Or you were choosing, you know, you couldn't make all three of your monster types strong. So you were choosing one monster type to go after or two monster types. So this part led to some interesting decisions. The map layout was really interesting because there's some quirks on the way the heroes can mm. move where you can kind of make a fork in a corridor that makes it impossible for the hero to be allowed to fight the monsters in both sides. And so you can like load ones, you can load both sides up with weak goblins yeah. uh, that would get destroyed almost instantly. But the hero, if you lay it out just right, the hero can't go to all of them. So that, that side of things was really interesting. I remember you did that last time. You kind of like split the room, so I can't really go to two. I have to choose one. That's how you hide yep. your treasure. Yep. Um, so there's like a number of time like limits on how many times you can go through a room. So I, there's no way, like it's not, it's not possible at all for me to go to both rooms. And that's, that's yep. clever. Yep. And then the other thing which I, I like in, I like in theory is the way these, you know, you're drafting what you want to draw on your map, now, yep. and then you're also drafting effects which will help you later. Help you later, and if you've got oh, lots yeah. of traps, then you want to draft the ones which make traps more valuable, or maybe take away cards that let other players dodge your traps. Mm. Uh, you you got quite a couple. You got a couple of those. I had lots mm -hmm. of traps, and you yeah, were, yeah, yeah. you were just. Oh, I missed that trap. Oh, I dodged yeah, that yeah, trap, yeah. and it was it was frustrating for me. But I wasn't drafting them away from you, so. Yeah, but I think those cards. I also need to look at. We well, have to look at both. You have to look at the top and the bottom. Like, do you want a immediate thing that you want to draw, or you want to do the top one that will help you later? So that's kind of like the balance that you need to to get. Yep. I know that I was heavily on on org, so I was trying to tick off this on my org is strong, so I don't need to roll as high to. Yep try to reduce the health of the hero. And yeah, although Ork only gives two points of damage, but it's not bad. And then I try to take the cards with Ork. Yep. Uh, yeah, so I don't think yeah. I had a single Ork. We basically split oh, really? between. And we basically, yeah. I'm sure this will happen in most two-player games, uh. so we kind of split between the two different. Uh, mm -hmm. We weren't overlapping on monsters. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So that's really different in a higher play accounts. Yep. But I like the stencil. I like, look, it's... It's got one player for it's four player game, so you got four stencils. It comes with pencil and eraser as a first player token. Pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpener, player, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Just, it comes with er it eraser comes with as, an well, eraser as well. But that pencil sharpener is the, yeah. <laughs> which is cute. Now, what I didn't like about the game was the hero resolution phase. Mm. It was it was very long. Um, and it was the cards work well in theory, and if you're playing cards on your own dungeon, it's pretty quick to resolve. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of cards that you play on other dungeons. Right, yeah. And I can see that that's a catch-up mechanic because you will play it on whichever hero is doing really mm -hmm. well. But it took, even at two players, it took a very long time to resolve. Right. It's almost at the same time as, like, drawing takes time as well a little bit if you want to do perfect drawing took a while because it, because it's long but i just found yeah. you know we we recently live played galaxy trucker which mm. is a similar sort of thing you spend the first half of the game building up and then you yeah, just yeah. kind of you draw the cards and you see what happens and this is kind of like that because you do this and then you draw the cards and see what happens and you roll the dice and you see what happens yeah but the fact that the cards were there it added all this extra decision 
into that resolution. And I mean, maybe it just went longer than I was expecting it to. Yeah. But, you know, I got halfway through resolving and I just thought it was a lot more fun building the dungeon than okay. it was so resolving. So you like the it. first half, not the other half? Yeah, I just wish it were a little bit. A little bit quicker or simpler, maybe not so many cards that you play on other players. Oh, you know why? That's um, because I've got like high hand limit. That's why I've got like a lot of, well, yeah. you didn't actually have, like you have one or two or something like I that. I had two. I didn't go two. in on that one. Yeah, yeah, I know that this is actually quite useful at the second part where you got the options to do that. Yeah, um, yeah that's probably kind of like maybe my fault, maybe, because I'm playing like this gun, that gun, this gun. Uh, it could be. Yeah, it's... I don't know. It, it was a it was a letdown the second half mm, okay, after okay. what was what was really shaping up. I thought to be an extremely good roll and write in the first half. Oh, sorry to hear that. Mm. Yeah, I kind of like a kind of the same with both. The first one, or maybe a little bit agree. So the first one is really fun. You you draft and then you draw and then you kind of think which one you want to have. You want to have, you know, balance it what you have right now and what you have for a later turn. I don't know if you were thinking about that too much. Do you actually focusing on drafting for the later turn? Um, I, I, this was the first card I drafted, actually, mm -hmm. I remember, the first time around, was okay. the, the Dragon Breath, and I started loading up on dragons. Okay, all right. So um, you do actually... I did, I did consider that. that a bit. All right. So, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's maybe a little bit like that, the second part. It, it could be less clankier, and it could be faster, and... You know, it depends on how you draw your your dungeon, and then you resolve one at a time. I should uh, I should bring up some yeah. of our previous dungeons. You tried to throw it out, and I was like, no, don't throw it out. I need that still. Just to show you some complete yeah. dungeons. So yeah. here is a very tight dungeon that ran out of time, and so there's a big <laughs> open space there. Um, here's a here's a more scattered sort of dungeon. Lots yeah, of monsters one. left over there. And this one as well. <coughs> this one is, um, again, a lot of uh, spare space because this bit's really tight. You can tell which one is mine. <laughs> like, uh, this is mine. Like, I tend to do this. This is mine as well. <laughs> so I was like, I was trying to get it so tight for the opponent. I mean, look at this, like, carefully drawn. <laughs> uh, and then all of a sudden, like, oh, is that it? Is that all the cards? Like, oh, no. <laughs> And this is mine. I didn't use the stencils when we played, so yeah. I didn't even draw the walls properly. <laughs> But here I've got my, my two rooms and traps <laughs> yes. everywhere. This is this is good. So I still like to uh, think that it's, you know, maybe playing a bit faster. I know you know the rules, like how these cards, the second part goes. It's probably might go faster and it's still fun. And I like to try more than two players as well. I think yeah. you just swap um, swap sheets. And swap them around them one in. direction, yeah, when the, uh, when the hero paths are getting drawn. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think? Have you played this? Have you played Doodle Dungeon? I mean, the name is so cute, and you get to don't forget that you have to write your dungeon name and your uh, dungeon master. I so. did not do that. What? What? Unnamed dungeon. No wonder okay. I lost. You're not qualified on this review anymore because you have. <laughs> Look, is it not you? The Dumperio? No, I think dungeon that was. Oh, that's me. Oh no. So you know that would have been. Yeah, look, um, no, it was me. No, look, you, yes. <laughs> this is my style. This is what I do. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Uh, yeah, so that is a very important part of the game. No, I'm not I'm kidding. But I think it's good for family. It's it's fun as well for kind of like filler party, not party games, but like lighter games. Uh, yeah, let us know if you have played this or you play something similar to this, um, and we'll check the comments. We'll get back to you. Um, and anything else, Aaron? No, I think that covers it for me. Um, okay. Yeah. So hopefully you find this useful um, and it will help us. If you find this useful, hit that like button uh, and subscribe to us. We, um, if you haven't already done so, you can also click the middle in the corner and hit the bell for notification. Uh, because we do things like this, should you play a review, play through how to play, other you type of videos, live playthrough on the weekend and so on. I'm also on Instagram, so hopefully we'll find each other there. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye.